What's going on guys? In this video, we are looking at the Razer Siren Mini. It's an affordable quality entry-level microphone made with a casual mini design, as the name implies. It looks sleek, and according to Razer, it claims to be just as good as mics double its price. So does this mini-sized mic have a mini-sized performance, or is it the perfect affordable mic for you? And what's it actually like to use on a daily basis? Let's get into the video and find out. I think the most attractive feature of the Razer Siren Mini is its price to performance ratio. You get a solid utility at a reasonable price. It's priced just under $50 and it features a no frills, 100% plastic pill shaped design that feels sturdy and you get three color options to choose from. You'll notice how lightweight it is, which makes it extremely portable. It also comes with a lightweight base and a ball head that allows you to swivel the microphone in all directions to optimize your input. The microphone also comes with a 5 8 adapter and I would recommend that for connecting it to a boom pole for to control your mic distance better. I like that all you need to start broadcasting is to plug it in. The setup is completely hassle free. The USB port is recessed at the rear of the mic and it comes with a custom 6 foot USB cable specifically shaped to conform to the mic's contour. Unfortunately, it lacks some amenities like a headphone jack or low latency monitoring, but Razer gives you some internal shock protection, which is pretty nice considering the cost. Even more, there's an LED indicator on the front, which tells you when the mic's plugged in or not. It comes with a 14 millimeter condenser capsule that delivers a super cardioid pattern. This is a narrower version of the cardioid pattern that rejects more of the background noise from the sides to give it a tighter focus on sound sources in front of it. You get a frequency response range of 20 Hz to 20 kHz and can record 16-bit audio at 44.1 to 48 kHz samples. It doesn't record a polar pattern selector, but the super cardioid pattern should cover all of your entry-level streaming needs. The maximum sound pressure level is a modest 110 dB, so it is susceptible to distortion at times, but given the price, this is very reasonable. I also like that Razer give you a one year warranty for this budget microphone, so you do get some guaranteed longevity. The audio quality outperformed my expectations, and while it's not professional grade, I'm sure you're going to get a better experience than anything else from a lower cost. It feels optimized for spoken word, and it delivers a controlled high fidelity sound with solid bass response and no noticeable artificial mid-scooping. It records high and low vocal frequencies adequately, and it also gives nice syllabic consonant sounds. If you find this video helpful and maybe you've learned a thing or two, be sure to help us out by giving the video a like. If you like short informative tech reviews that get to the point, be sure to subscribe. And for links on updated pricing, be sure to check the description. Here is a microphone test against some competitors and alternative mics to the Razer Siren Mini. This is a microphone test of the Razer Siren Mini this is a microphone test of the HyperX SoloCast versus the Blue Snowball versus an iPhone and my boom mic. I thought the Razer Siren Mini held up extremely well. As with many Razer products, it feels bass heavy to me, but that isn't necessarily a bad thing. It might suit your voice better than it suits mine. If I had to choose between the Siren Mini and the SoloCast, I think the SoloCast has a bit of a crisper high end, which works better for my voice, but the difference is pretty negligible. It outperforms my old Snowball mic, and it passes the this is significantly better than an iPhone test. And with some careful mixing, it could probably serve as a backup to my boom mic. So is the Razer Siren Mini worth the money? Considering the performance to price ratio, it's hard to argue against it, although that really depends on what you want to get out of your microphone. With the Razer Siren Mini, you get bare bones functionality that's light on features, but the overall audio quality is impressive, it's warm, and it has a decent vocal frequency response for the price. For about $10 more, you can get the HyperX SoloCast, which offers a very similar audio performance, but with the added benefit of a mute button. You also get a natural and refined sound for a comparable price with an impressive mid-range response. These are all solid budget options and should suit streamers, gamers, podcasters more adequately. But that's just my opinion. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. For links to updated pricing on all of the items mentioned in this video, check out the description. If you guys learned something or found this video helpful, please give it a like and subscribe if you're new to the channel and you like short informative tech videos. Till next time, I'll see you guys later.